Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so we're doing a tile reset with a Boral Clay S tile. And it's a pretty beautiful product. It's made out of clay. This is a vintage S tile roof. So what that means is, is that it's all clay. It's 100% clay. Now the new tile that's being made right now has cement in the middle and clay on the outside. But this is a true, this is a true clay roof. You can see all the way through, it's clay all the way through, which is awesome because I think it's a lot stronger than the other ones that have the cement on them. Okay, so we're kind of racing the clock right now because we have an open beam ceiling here and of course we put plastic underneath on the inside so no dust comes through the open beam ceiling or through the tongue and groove boards, how they fit together like this. Um, we have to race the clock because it looks overcast right now, but in a couple hours it's going to heat up and we're not going to get this base paper off because they solid mopped our sprinkle mop, the 40 pound fiberglass base sheet onto the tongue and groove. They didn't want to use any nails because it's open beam ceiling. And uh, so basically we're racing the clock because we got to get the stuff off while it's cold. Otherwise it's not going to come up. So anyways. So the first step right here is what we want to do is we want to continue with the tear off. As you can see, we got this little peak across the top. We want to get that ripped off so when we stack, so we get it ripped off down to the wood, we can put our, <clears throat> we can put the base paper and then come back with a torch on top of that and then stack our tile on that so we're not moving the tile around everywhere and shuffling it. So right now, we're just picking up all the dirt and all the debris, which there's a lot of it. Let's check out and see what we've already done. So this is how it looks. We're waiting to do the bottom eave. We got a uh, built-in gutter system and we're going to have to wait to do that until we get this roof waterproof and then we can come back and fill in the blanks. But So this is what we have. This is kind of what it looks like so far. That's the tile, we want to get that off. But anyways, so we're working pretty diligently. So we're trying to work, we're getting going pretty good. So we're gonna get back to you in a, in a bit once we get all the dust all swept up and we start tearing off the base paper and then we can show you again how we're gonna get that tore off, okay? See you in a bit. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof, okay. So once again, we're on a boral clay S tile roof and we're doing a tile reset. So we're gonna save all the tile and throw away all the broken and cracked ones. So now we're just continuing our tear off. So let me show you how we do it. So the trick is, you gotta lift up the tile, wipe off as much of the dust as possible because we don't wanna do that later. Now's the time we do it while we're tearing off. And just stack the tile and then we're gonna get it all moved when we get this paper ripped up. And we wanna get off a little bit more of this tile first. So let's see how we do it.
So as you can see, it takes a little bit of work. Okay. So we got a little bit left of the tile, but that's pretty much off. Now we're gonna have to start taking off the base paper. So let's see how we do it. Get back to you in one second. So first is trying to break them apart because sometimes they crack as you saw the other ones did. So as you can see these are stuck together. I think we're just going to keep them stuck together for right now until we figure out where a good place where we can use these. We might have to end up replacing all this ridge line because as you can see underneath it's got a little bit of tar, a little bit of cement. We can usually chip that off and get it cleaned up but you don't know how it's always gonna turn out. So anyway, so that's the first step. So we're gonna stack these in little clusters and we're gonna move on and keep going. So we wanna start bagging the cement right now for the mortar at the top of the ridge line. Hey, welcome back. Okay, now that we got all the ridge tore off, we can get started on taking the first row of tile out at the ridge line and start knocking out the mortar that's connected to the tile. Now we want to be really, we want to be really careful with this area right here because this is the, really the only place where we're going to have a lot of problems with the tile trying to salvage it because we want to take our time chipping off the concrete so we're able to reuse as many of these tiles as possible. Now. There's usually like about a 20% rule of thumb tile breakage on a tile reset. We're gonna to try to see if we can get that down to 10%, which would be fantastic, especially for the homeowner, because that's an additional cost, and they really don't wanna get into that, and we don't wanna get into it either. So we're gonna do everything we can to try to get that safe. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this all ripped up. We wanna take, we wanna chip it very gingerly, take our time, let's see how we do it, and this is how we do it. See when we're chipping off some of the tile, some of it's broken, and there's really nothing we can do about it because that's the cement. So we're trying to salvage as much of this as we can, but we still may be able to use these broken pieces at the top because it doesn't look like they have a straight row right here, and maybe we can cut some of the broken pieces and actually reuse them.
as we're tearing off these tiles, we want to try to brush them down a little bit, get some of the dust off. We'll probably end up doing a pressure wash over the tile after we're done installing them. But for now, I want to try to get off as much of the dust as possible. Okay, once again, you see we have the tile right here. We just want to take a nice little easy, easy swing. That came off pretty nice. This little stuff right here, we're not going to worry about this until we get back up to go reset these at the top of the ridge line. If we have to chip them more, we will. But typically, well actually that came out pretty nice, so we got lucky on that one. So that's basically how we chip off the ridge line, how we chip off the tile off the front. We're doing two rows at a time right here just to give ourselves a walking path, which is good because we want to make sure that we don't walk all over the tile if we don't have to. So you always want to start from the top. Now we have a clear path when we're tearing off the tile. We don't have to walk over the tile or trample it just to be able to walk on it, which is awesome. So anyways, we're going to jump to something else. And uh, I'll get back to you in a bit when we get a little bit more of this roof tore off on this side and we'll check out some more of the nuances of ripping off this vintage U.S. tile roof, which is a boral roof now. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so you can see like right here, they did an okay job on the cement. See, they did an okay job on the cement ridge line. But for some reason over here, they're getting a little lazy with the way that they're installing the cement and looks like they may have had a repair over here. Right over here in this area, right here, it looks like they had a repair because there's no cement, like right here it's solid and right here we have little gaps in between. So either they didn't know what they were doing or they were looking for a shortcut or they did a repair and they just didn't want to fill it in. So we're going to make sure all this is filled in correctly instead of having this little gap here. So let's check out some other nuances of the roof and we'll catch up to you in a bit. 